Don't forget the shirts. Top three, top three artists you listen to. It's only one. Raw Wicked. I'm going to say it, Raw Wicked. You hear Big Man, Linda Taylor, man. Um, yeah. And go follow Big Man. Like, yeah, listen, man, he has 7,000 on Twitter and Instagram. We're trying to get him to 10,000. Kane fans, y'all wanted him. Y'all was dying to get him before he committed. He committed. It's about a hundred thousand, y'all. This man should have a hundred thousand followers, man. And real, real talk. Yeah. Real, real talk. So, all right. So listen. You gonna try to go to school earlier or not? Yeah, I'm trying to get up. Yeah, I'm you trying, ain't trying to, to go to prom or nothing like that. No. Yeah. Listen, what you say? Forget that. Yeah, forget that. No prom, man. No none of that. Oh man, trying to that's get to work. One of the best nights ever. <laughs> so, so. So in order to go to school early, you had to pass the SAT, but this year you don't have to take the SAT, huh? No. Man, you know how many people are envious of that? Hey, you took the SAT? Yes. Yeah? You passed it first yeah, time? Yeah. Huh? But it was, I mean, it was just stressful because you, you take it, and now you in your head, you're like, damn, bro, I got to get this certain score right. just to qualify. Not not even saying you you over, you, you get a better score, but so now you got to wait for your test score to come back. Right. You know what I'm it's just stressful because it's like, damn, man, because uh, if I don't get this score, maybe this school ain't going to want me, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, by you not taking it, I mean, golly, that's just that's, amazing. I think I, I took it three times. I think I took it three times. Man, I know people who, nah, I ain't going to say that. I, was, <laughs> I know people who had to get somebody to take it for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's hard. Huh? It is, it is, hard. man. It is. But yeah, so you, you don't have, you just need, what, the grade point average? Yeah, I gotta have my current courses. Uh huh. I gotta have those uh, like good core, grades. Yeah, your core classes. classes. Yeah, my core classes. And then so what's your what's your GPA looking like, at right now? My GPA is like what a two point nine. Two point nine. Yeah. I mean, hey. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never had no two point nine. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no two point nine before that. So, Bob, you committed. You committed to University of Miami. Um, the recruiting process is over. Um. The aftermath of the recruiting process because basically you shut down your recruiting, but school's still saying, "Hey, man, um, you, you think think this twice, or you know, um, how, how how does that go? How's that go?" I mean, I still get a, the messages and calls from a lot of schools. Like Florida still texts me and call, LSU still texts me and call, FSU, all them schools. I try not to pay attention to it really, like, right. cause I'm locked in where I'm at. Yeah. So, it don't really phase me. I just don't answer the phone. No. Answer the text. Yeah. The, the, the process got it, it gets. Explain it to people, man. They don't understand. What's the most missed calls you ever had when you went back to your phone and you like, man, what? Yeah, um, Tell, when you were what? Tim grader. That's when when the colleges start talking to you. Uh -huh. in it. Yeah, that was well, January first when they get that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, when, yeah. It, that's when it get crazy. Like, yeah. coaches calling you. Everybody want to see you. Everybody want to meet your family. Everybody want to know about you. Like, it's a lot. It's not. It's, I mean, it's a lot. You talk but, to them, or who, who, who usually talk to them? You, your mom, me, you. Or like, uh, you them. turn that phone off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen. Yeah. Cause it, listen, how many phone calls you get a day? Though? Be honest, because people don't understand the recruiting process get crazy. I mean, like, when my recruitment was open, I used to get calls every day, day and night. And they used to always face them. More than You ever had more than 10 schools in one day? Yeah. More than 15 schools in one day? Yeah. Messages used to be on a thousand something. Man, it should be a that's That is that's abuse. That's, that's, <laughs> it should yeah. be a cap on that, fool. That's, a, that's crazy, that's a, but nobody thinks about that. 17 year old kid, you know what I'm saying? I see my kids, all my kids do is play on their phone. You cannot play on your, you gotta turn your, first of all, your alerts off, right? Yeah. You gotta turn your alerts off. Silence, yeah. But if they calling, like you, you have, is there a mode where you could be like, man, no call mode? <laughs> I mean, I press that saw button on and then it declined. So. You can't do, it's almost like you gotta have two phones. You yeah. can't do anything on that phone. And people don't realize that when we think about the recruiting process. You big time, everybody wants you. That's 20, 25 schools that, at the top that are really going to have the resources to really just go after you. And yeah, and that can get that can get kind of crazy, but I don't think people realize that how crazy it gets. You hear people at the end of the process, they be like, man, I'm just glad the process is over. Yeah. And that's what it is, it's the stress of. Stressful. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, really, it's really stressful. 
So you know, you say you six five. What? How many? How much you weigh? Three hundred. Six five, three hundred. Yeah. Who the best? Who the best player you ever faced? Tow truck. Who tow truck? Um, Jojo from um, he went to South Day. He committed to uh, Oregon. Okay, I know you're talking about. He's the best. Player. Oh yeah, 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 nah, yeah. yeah. Nah, when nah, when was that? Last year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He pancaked me in the end zone. Yeah. So I was ugly. So at, at what point did you realize you went out there, you did your little thing, you realized, oh, I'm in for a game tonight. Well, this man feel like a wall. <laughs> when I like, like over this pandemic, like I been getting stronger. Yeah. So like I feel like I'm stronger than every old mom and I go up in front of me. So like if I get you out the way, so what makes you think I can't get the next person? Why you think you're stronger? How much you been? Like 325. 325? Yeah. So you just know that nobody, it ain't too many people. You, you bench the most on your team? No, nah, Savion missed the moves. Really? Yeah, Savion like incredible hall. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, so now it comes out. Savion's yeah. incredible hall. So, yeah, yeah. Now, now it makes a lot How much Savion on bench? Like what, like three, three, three forty-five, three fifty. He's massive. He, he's taller than you? No, I'm taller than him. But he weigh more. Yeah. yeah. We like three what? Savion might, might be three twenty. Yeah. Right. He got a lot of weight on him right now. So he's just cock strong. He's just natural strong. Yeah, but he, he, he grabs me with over with. Oh, it really? Ain't, it ain't going no after that. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. All right. <laughs> he changed his number from 59 to what? He was, no, he changed to 59. What he was? He was 99. He was 99 before. 99. 59. 1959. Yeah. Besides the players on your team, who, who do you interact with um, as far as recruiting, trying to get them to come or join you on? I mean, I try to get Mason. I get that boy a Mason, shot. I tell him yeah. to come to the crib. Yeah. Come, come get on the line with me. I mean, he, I mean, I, I guess he paid attention to it. Right, right. Oh, it's some chatter, it's some chatter going around that he likes you, man. And yeah. I mean, me and Tomorrow was just talking like, man, Jason, you, you get Leonard Taylor and, and, and Mason Smith in one class on the D line. Like, you know, that's nasty. That's nasty. Y'all, y'all got a nasty class. Yeah. I mean, I, I, one of the best classes I've seen in, 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 in a while. I know you only, what, 17 years old? 18. 18, so you you haven't seen a people paying attention to it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all class is really nasty. It's not like people just talking like it's hype. Nah, yes. No, y'all got some y'all straight got some balls real in y'all class, bro. Y'all balls. Got, yeah, y'all got some straight balls. Balls, straight balls in y'all class. So, no, Jason Marshall, no, these dudes in the locker room with you. You put, like, you in gloves and they... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just throwing up the you and they face. Yeah? Yeah, they don't, they don't pay attention to it, dude. But I, I'll mess with them. Yeah? Like, come here, come now, yeah. yeah. Jason I'll Marshall was close him. to becoming king. Was he, was he close? Was he close I mean, there? I don't know. You don't know? Jason, like, quiet with his life. Oh, really? Like, Jason, Keep your business to himself? Yeah, he don't really talk yeah. like that. So. Kanye is too, man. I don't think I ever heard Kanye say three words. Yeah, I mean, Kanye like, talk about Being that. with him in school, like, they talk, they, they talk crazy being with him in school. Like, yeah. so they so comfortable. Right. But uh, with all of us, but, like, nah, they don't know you. They ain't they really. Nah, they ain't, they ain't I know them because they were just big. Like, you just, <laughs> Brashad don't talk either. Man, you got Bashad a bunch of mutes funny. on your team, man. Brashad funny. Brashad be yeah. playing on the show, man. man. Yeah. Funny, yeah. Brashad funny, really? Yeah. yeah. Believe it or not, he funny. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what? Three? How many commits on your team? Three or four? Three. Three? Three? Yeah. You, Brashad, Savion. And Savion. Who was that? And then the West had, what? Like three or four. Five. So it was basically like maybe. like five. We always kill it. Oh, it was basically Ten. like nine. Khalil, yeah, Khalil, Tim, Tim Romello. Romello. Um, That's it. What's it is? Khalil, nah, it's Khalil, Tim, and Romello. Khalil, Tim, Romello. We missing somebody? Kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen's character too. Yeah, yeah. So was, that was eight. I seven. feel like we missing somebody else, man. Ah, uh, Hammett. Remember Hammett? Hammett was there. Hammett, yeah. Man. Okay. Yeah. It was Hammett. So it's four. It's four. Yeah. four. They had four. They got three. So seven. Seven players played in, in the game that was all going to you on next year. Yeah. I, I didn't even think about that that night. That they, they had seven commits out there. I was trying. I was trying to get them, you know, so we could get a photo of them all together. But you know, after the game, uh, Carmelo, they was they was first to get on the bus, and then you know the West rituals. So it's like we got to take about forty five minutes just to, to get right, to right, them. Right. After that, but what what coach said to y'all after the game? Which one, coach from high school? Yeah, head coach. He walked down in the locker room. He talked y'all in the locker room. He talked y'all back at the school. In the locker room. In the locker room. Doing like, he not mad at the fat vlog. Like, he never gonna be mad at that vlog. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I mean, like, we all did our part. Defense did our part. Offense is not a good family. Like, 
we got to get this stuff together, like, because we, we all one team. We all got to, like, right. we all got to, like, come together as one. Right. So, like, you feel me? Yeah. So they you don't just think gotta, about going to play fullback or nothing on offense or something, man? Having boys out there? I tried You fast, that. fool. You only deep as line that. fast? You ain't fullback fast? I tried that in 707. I, I messed my ankle up. You tried, to, you tried to play wide receiver 707? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I caught a fade and I, I faded somebody up there in the camp. For who? At the Florida camp, I faded somebody up, though. Yeah? yeah? They got no video? I mean, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Hey, man, um, so you know, there's some big news that just came out. I think the other day, um, they canceled the All American game. So yeah, basically, that was no All American game for oh, no, no other All American game. And no, oh, no Army. In the army game, so oh. um, that's a disappointment to you because I know you was, you was playing the army one, right? Or the, no, I was with uh, under oh, army at oh. first, and then I went to Adidas, but so it was canceled ugly, both, they canceled man. it. Yeah, uh, you disappointed in that, or yeah, because I went play against I the best players in the nation. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah those games be cool, man. I, I, I attended the army game one time, the under army game like five times, five times, and we. You been on with three or four or five times. You get a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, man. Y'all yeah, missed out. All that. Yeah, all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah, missed out. And then all the players say, but I just can't wait to get the gear. Yeah, yeah. Get the gear, the gear. That's why I like, stayed with them mostly for all the gear. Yeah. You get the sweats, all of that. Like, that's pretty y'all missed. Yeah, y'all missed out on that. I give you some football field stuff. It's the same. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. But listen, man, we here with Big Man. Linda Taylor, man, y'all make sure y'all stay locked in with us and go follow the man on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, 56. Um, tell people what 56 it is. 56 underscore reasons on Instagram. 56, 56 reasons underscore on Twitter. Y'all go show some love. Man, follow the man. Like I said, it's a billion Kane fans. That man need to have a billion followers. Yeah, do that. All right, man, Caneville, we back, man. And listen, last time we did a no cap with you. Y'all go check out the no cap on YouTube. Um, talk to you, your mom, the coaches. And you talked about, Brothers. I asked you, hey, send me something people don't know about you. And the first thing you say is you eat Oreos and cheese, right? Yeah. <laughs> and people didn't believe me. I was, I done told numerous people that haven't seen the video and they think I'm lying. They be like, man, you lying. Be, you eat Oreos and you eat what type of cheese? Explain to people how you do this. Like you take the cream out the cheese. Uh, I mean, you take the cream out the Oreo. Like, what do you do? You eat that with the cheese. Like the cookie, then you get a piece of cheese, regular cheese. Like regular square cheese, you open up the cookies. Thank you. Nah, you don't open it, you rip the cheese and you put it on top of the cookie and you eat it. You rip it? Oh, you put it on top? Yeah, all, I mean, all of it dairy, <laughs> all of it is milk. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's like, it, it tastes sweet. You don't dip it in no milk or nothing like that, nah. You just eat the cheese on top of, Who, how did this start, dog? Like you were just, my Hungry grandma, one day? my grandma eat weird stuff like that. My grandma eat what Oreos on the sandwich. That's why I got it from Oreo on the sandwich before. Oreos on the sandwich. Oh man, that's that's some um. <laughs> I, I don't even want to say it, but I'm gonna say it. that's like that. That's Geechee eating. Yeah. That's almost like Geechee eating. I know, no, when I work in a jail, the dudes in the prison, they make stuff called goulash, say, and they say, just yeah, put a bunch yeah, of stuff in the bag, put a bunch of stuff in the bag, and, and, and crush it up. Yeah. Um, it's, it's almost like. I, yeah, that's uh, yeah. It just it's something that you know we don't, we don't, we never. Yeah, man, that's, it's pretty good. So you went. So listen, you went to um, you went to some camps. Yeah. Like, so which camps you went to? I went to Under Armour. Uh huh. I went to the Florida camp. Uh huh. I went to the um, Alabama camp. Yeah. Um. Tell me, you should say just say hi to the camera. You should. Tell them. <laughs> Tell people your name or something. <laughs> I've been to a couple of lives. I just named a couple off beats. Like, I remember. So at those camps, how, how did how did you grade out at those camps? Were you were you always at the top or was you number one or was it? Was I mean, the coaches were always watching, really. Like, yeah. Coaches know. Who so at the end, they don't. I thought at the end they don't like put y'all in order or be like. Now nah, what they not do really? is they um like when you go to the Under Armour camp, they give you. You, you, you go, you, you get, get graded out, you get an right? invite to yeah. the next, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So it's basically like, if you keep getting invites, you know what I'm right. saying, you're going to get graded out. I have the, like, front door service at the Under Armour account. What you mean us. front door service? <laughs> what explain what? All them kids was out there like, I went up to the man, he had my, I told him my name, and he just like, oh, all right, follow me. He put out a, a, a prom time wristband, yeah. and I got to like, skip everybody. I was like, first person to get all my stuff, they have to do 
Like, if they ain't want to do none of that stuff in the camp, they ain't have to do it because yeah. I was already committed to the game. Who else got that same type of service? Anybody see anybody else get it? Who else? Uh, ain't, ain't so no. no. You felt like you was the man, huh? Yeah. But yeah. you got 7,000 followers. You like, how is that possible? Yeah, like, <laughs> they throwing me with that. <laughs> Listen, we going to get you up there, man. We're going to make it. The, um, we're gonna make it equal, dog. You ever so you um you ever did the Nike Spartan Spider Camp? No, I ain't. No, you never did it. No. Oh, wow, that's. I would normally think that'd be like the first camp. I don't even know if they even do that anymore. The Spartan Camp? Yeah, they don't do it no more. I don't think so. I ain't wow. seen it. No, they got the Nike opening now that goes around. Oh, and they do the spark, yeah. yeah. And they, they do the spark they, test, they yeah. yeah. They just they don't call do. it that no more, right? Oh, okay. They do the spark test, uh, right, right, right. So that they, they, yeah, when it when they go around. Um, Listen, man, the, the followers thing, so people think it's taboo and stuff like that. For kids, you know what I mean? that's, a, that's a serious thing, right? Explain explain to people the following thing. You look at, like I showed you, young boy. Who I showed you, young boy? Lamar, Lamar Patterson. He got 80,000 followers. He's like a junior. When y'all see that, y'all think what? Because people don't understand. Older people think social media is something to play with or they think it's taboo. But to y'all... It's like status, huh? Like fame. Yeah, it's like fame. Like, right. you see all the followers, like, oh, what he doing to get all these followers? Like, what can I do to get the followers here? And it holds real weight in school, yeah. right? Right. And I don't think people, I don't think older people realize that. Like, uh, a lot of Kane fans are older people. See what I'm saying? And I don't think they realize how serious it is. Um, they will in five years. They'll, they'll get it. Everybody will understand in five years. They getting it. They getting it. They, yeah. just, they still, you know, they still be like, well, it's, it, it's not. It's not that serious to them. Because I know some older ones will be like, oh, yeah, I don't care nothing about that. But y'all y'all on social media, so you got to care, obviously. Yeah. You know, right. but this time I'm going to break it down to you. Your social media is yours. You know what I'm saying? So when when football, when you at your height and when it's over, you still going to have your social media. That's your brand. People just don't realize yet. That's your TV show. You know what I'm saying? So when you choose to not put pictures on your TV show, then your TV channel is off. Nobody ain't watching it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what people don't understand about social media. They think social media is a place to go stalk other people, uh, what people flaws at, and then if that's what you focus on on social media, that's what you focus on on social media. Yeah. But um, that social media following that you build is yours. And you can do a lot with it. Um, so, and yeah, people don't understand the seriousness of, of, of it. They don't understand how it, it's the same way we saw fame when we saw somebody on TV when we were young. We were on TV, we thought you was famous. And that's just how it was. Y'all see somebody with a bunch of followers, y'all just assume. Because I had little kids. These three little kids call me all the time on Instagram. And when I answer, they be like, Oh, he answered the phone. And I'll be like, yeah, I answered the phone. They'll be like, oh, man, when you get a blue check, we ain't going to be able to call you. And I realized that's how they see me. Yeah. Right? And then it started, it started dawning on me that they see me as somebody famous because I got a bunch of followers. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, nah, man. So, listen, it's serious to this man. So, y'all make sure y'all go follow. Yeah, it's serious not. to all of them. It ain't just him. <laughs> it ain't serious to all of them. It ain't yeah. just him. Y'all make sure y'all go follow the man. That's his brand. He did something for y'all, Kane fans. Boy, it's time to get back now, boy. It's time to get back? Fox. It's a fact. It's time to get back. Fox. All right, man. We finna get out of here. It's raining out here. Ain't got no umbrella, man. <laughs> we get out of here, man. Y'all locked in, locked in with us. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, and share. And drop a comment in the comment section or something, man. Anything y'all want us to ask him, I, I text him or something, ask him a question. It's not nothing stupid. <laughs> hey, top three, top three artists you listen to. It's only one. Raw Wicked. I'm gonna say Raw Wicked. Oh my God. No young, no young NBA what? boy. Or, um, no, no, no. Stay raw Only Raw wow. Wicked. What is it about Raw Wicked? It sounds like you're always in pain, man. Say, like, how I told y'all last video, like I relate. I, I can relate, relate to so pain, yeah. pain. But they all, y'all all say the same thing. Why do y'all all relate to him? There's a couple uh, dudes out there like him. A lot of them like the fact that it's, it's pain music, so they say, man, that's that's my that's motivating. Yeah, yeah. Like how he came up from nothing like what? He from Florida, right? Yeah. Yeah, where are you from? Where are you where from? I, I, up north, I'm supposed to be like nine, 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 like probably right, not too far from Orlando, area, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so what? He 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 put out what? He had what? One album, right? Or, or he, he just put a bunch of albums. Albums. He got a couple yeah. albums. Every time, it's the same answer. Yeah. Cause like, in his music, like he telling us about how how he wasn't nothing. He grew up from nothing, like to somebody, like me. When I was a freshman, 10th grade, like, 
I used to be like that kid that you everybody used to make fun of, da 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 da. But really? Nah, in high school? Yeah, no, nah, like that is like. Why? Because like I was just different from everybody. I used to have blonde hair. I was afraid I went on blonde hair. Really? I used to wear, yeah, big clothes. Like, oh, I was gonna say you was big. Yeah. They, they still picked on you? Yeah, they picked on me. Some bold kids. Man. But now, all them people who like picked on me, like, oh, they in my inbox telling me, oh, good job. Oh, I knew you were like making it. Like, like, don't hate them. It's yeah. not like that. That's why I like That's <laughs> how I vent to that boy. Cause like, he telling like, That's the type of stories he tell. Yeah, like, the Corey Hammond, he said the same thing. Raw weed. Yeah. It's almost like he talking to y'all to y'all pain or something, man. That's wild. Like, uh, I listen to that man. Oh, I can yeah. listen to him. When I listen to, when I listen to his music, I, I, I get where they coming from. He, he basically saying, you know, man, I three years ago, man, I was nothing. I had no money, no nothing. You know, I was sleeping on friends' couch and stuff like that. And then now I'm, you know, so this is my pain story to where I'm at now. But Edge, you used to have a studio. You used to make beats, right? He's not the first rapper that ever talked about his no, pain, no. though. Why do they love him so much? Some his pain related. Yeah, for some odd reason, I think a lot of them, yeah. Really related. And then, you know, it's, it's like you just explained to them, his social media was his brand. Yeah. That was his brand. He branded himself to be, I'm a, you know, this is the type of music I make. Yeah. So everybody's saying, well, damn, boy, I can relate Maybe to Maybe that's that. what it is. Maybe he, he, he stepped on it. Like, yeah. he really put it out there. I like this is. You know, because yeah. when we was growing up, you know, it was you had other artists, and we're like, damn, I can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, 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 every generation relates to something that they stick it to. So this generation saying, I relate to that music, that pain music. I mean, they, they love, man. That video I shot at Columbus, man. Everybody was like, man, they sing it right away. Yes, Columbus is lit before they play Western. Shout out to that way, Raw Way. Shout out to Raw Way. Shout out to Raw Way. Man, man, we need to get Raw Way on the show, man. You think we can get Raw Way? Nah, we don't have to go to him, huh? <laughs> We gotta go to him, huh? We catch him in Miami. Maybe we catch him in Miami, man. Gotcha. Get him to come to the show, man. They love, man. He was coming. When he was finna come to the Nike thing, when they were doing Trash Power, oh, Rod yeah, Wade yeah, was coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. I would have been crazy. Rod Wade was coming. I, I, I don't I don't know if he showed up, but he was supposed to be coming, man. Them kids weren't going nowhere. Yeah, they done. They definitely done. Yeah? The cameras in his face, yeah, they won't do. Rod Wade. It ain't even a second person. It ain't a third person. <laughs> Rod Wade. There it is, man. So yeah, T man, we need to work on that, man. Somehow he he in Florida. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He from the, the crib. So we we, we gotta somehow figure out a way we can touch this man for the kids. Alright? Alright, man, y'all stay locked in with us. Alright.